Whether the comparison be non-canon, ridiculous, or just downright impossible really, Gogeta vs Vegito will always be one of the most interesting and talked about dream matches in Dragon Ball history. Of course, from everything we've learned about both of these powerhouses formed from both Goku and Vegeta, the consensus seems to be that they would be about equal in power, i.e. there is no one fusion that's stronger than the other, after the retcons at least, but we're still free to have our favorites. In the past on this channel, we've even found ourselves covering all of these separate comparisons and what-ifs on if these two fused warriors were to meet in some distorted timeline. But today, we'll have the chance to approach this situation from an entirely different angle. I was doing a little bit of digging online, and I ended up coming across a pretty cool fan manga that really caught my attention. The stories of both Gogeta and Vegito go back many years to the Majin Buu saga, and although non-canon at the time, the Fusion Reborn movie and GT were our only instances of seeing Gogeta until Dragon Ball Super. Today, however, we dive into a very interesting short fan manga called Dragon Ball Final War. Now, the things you're gonna see here today, guys, as we should all know by now, considering it is a fan manga, are not canon. However, I want you to take some of these ideas presented here today, and after we've finished, appreciate the immense amount of creativity presented before you. Dragon Ball Final War is an original fan manga made by Elias Shaman that takes place across different parallels in the world we know as Dragon Ball. In an alternate universe separate from our main timeline, things have taken an interesting turn for the absolute worst, however. Majin Buu has managed to somehow escape death in this timeline and has evaded further danger for now. However, as we know, in a separate non-canon timeline, after the incident with Majin Buu, Janemba would soon awaken and wreak havoc in HFIL. As Janemba awakened, Majin Buu immediately senses his immense energy and Realizing that this would be his only opportunity for a chance to take revenge on Goku and Vegeta for his near death, he hunts down the demon. As soon as Janemba awakened, however, Majin Buu closed in on him and used this chance to absorb him, this being the beginning of a tragedy far worse than anything this universe has ever seen. As this is taking place, however, in a split timeline from this, Vegito is the lone warrior strong enough to truly protect Universe 7 as he suddenly senses this insane spike in energy from a single being all the way across another parallel so he himself travels through space and time to stop this new, incredibly powerful form of Majin Buu. Unfortunately for the Z Fighters, however, Majin Buu's increased power and intelligence was on an entirely different level than any they had ever experienced or been prepared to as he chose to strike first. Before the birth of Omega Shenron could come to fruition, Majin Buu traveled to this time in order to collect the Dragon Balls and to harness every bit of their energy for himself before the birth of Omega. This in turn forced Goku and Vegeta in the GT timeline to fuse together and create the all-powerful warrior Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Now alongside Vegito, Gogeta must help him bring down the single strongest form of Majin Buu that we've ever seen housing not only the abilities of Janemba, whom he was never supposed to meet in the first place, but now the dark strength housed within the Dragon Balls as well. With an enemy this out of control and powerful, the options are very limited for Gogeta and Vegito, but there is one plan that seems so ridiculous and wild that it may actually work. If you guys are interested and want to check out this original short fan manga for yourselves, the link to the original story will be down below in the description box, so be sure to go check it out and show some love to the Dragon Ball fan manga Facebook. Be sure to have those notifications turned on to never miss an upload as soon as they go live, and if you have been enjoying all of the anime content recently, consider leaving a like on this video as well, it really helps out a ton. Be sure to follow on both Twitch and Twitter to stay up with me and all anime related content guys. But without further ado, as the entire Earth trembles under Vegito's awesome power, his blast is visible from space even as it tears into the galaxy illuminating this entire side of the universe. However, something still isn't right here. Darn it, Vegito says, as it seems although his attack would have wiped any other being from the face of existence, it's failed them here. 
It's all over, Gogeta says as he looks on hopelessly. We're too late. Even with Vegito's full charge Kamehameha, nothing works. It's impossible to defeat such a power, he continues, for the first time ever, representing fear from both Goku and Vegeta. And now? Now things have just gotten even worse. The Earth? No, the entire universe is as good as gone now. Unfathomable as it already is, Majin Buu's power has broken every plane of possibility imaginable at this point in time. However, his last step will descend the entire multiverse into destruction and darkness. Majin Buu being in possession of Janemba also went on to acquire the negative energy of the Dragon Balls that produced the Shadow Dragons before. With the negative energy of the Dragon Balls, he says, as Majin Buu raises them into the air above him, he'll be more powerful than anything we've ever seen before. This battle is as good as over. Not sure where this looming sense of dread came from in Gogeta, but fortunately, Vegito has the utmost faith that this battle still has the chance to turn out in their favor. Wait, don't give up now, Gogeta, Vegito says to him in his Super Saiyan 3 form. You know, in my opinion, this is actually perfect. So let him eat the Dragon Balls, he says, showing the obvious signs of Vegeta's personality. Let him grow in power as much as he likes. I have a plan myself. This is when Boo, already harnessing devastating power, consumes all of the Dragon Balls at once and forever transcends to a level that very well may rival the gods of the upper levels of the multiverse. Vegito just smirks as Boo's power explodes, saying to him, this battle is only getting started. Majin Boo's entire appearance and aura after absorbing the Dragon Balls changes drastically as his energy alone seems to ignite half of the planet in a red blaze of aura. In his chest, Majin Buu possesses six of the seven black Dragon Balls with the final one resting in the center of his forehead, almost as if he'd absorbed Omega Shinron himself. However, Buu's power has soared leagues beyond that of the Shadow Dragons. Such energy exists, Gogeta says as his jaw drops in amazement and fear. This is when Vegito's plan starts to become much more clear though as he reaches for his ear and unclips one of his Patara. Well, Gogeta, he says to his comrade, you know the rest of this and what we're about to do. However, you should also know that this is literally the only way for us to defeat such a power, not to mention survive in the first place, he says as he extends his arm to hand Gogeta the Patara. Are you up for one last fusion, he asks. The power of the Patara should also lengthen your fusion. Vegito's plan to merge Gogeta, who is already a fusion, using the Patara earrings again might be one of the most wild and far-fetched things I've seen happen in Dragon Ball since the last episode of Heroes, but faced with odds such as these, this is without a doubt the only way to defeat someone like this. The power of the Patara merged with the outcome of the fusion dance may give birth to a power unable to exist on Earth itself, but as Vegito hands over the earring, Gogeta takes it with little to no hesitation. The power of these two almighty fusions merged for the first time as Gogeta places the earring on. These two powers can form one last time, multiplying the strength of this warrior hundreds if not thousands of times over as the person that stands before us now can only truly be called the most powerful Saiyan to ever live. This is the ultimate fusion of the ultimate Saiyan. He has no name, however his legacy will forever be cemented in time as maybe the greatest fan-made fusion of all time, as the story of Majin Buu vs Gogeta and Vegito comes to an abrupt pause, leaving us to our imagination. Alright guys, that is gonna honestly do it for this one, and I know this was a little bit different, especially with the abrupt ending, but... I actually really enjoyed this and I thought the abrupt ending was pretty cool. While really jarring, it was definitely something original that I personally wouldn't have expected from anyone else before seeing this. After doing a little more looking into the story, I found out what the author's intentions were for this and I would really love if we could just respect their wishes and kind of decide for ourselves how this battle would play out because that's kind of what they really wanted at the end of the day guys. So respectfully down below in the comments. I want to follow this author's wishes and have just this discussion with you guys about how you think the story should and would end. 
Is this new fusion warrior strong enough to stop Majin Buu who's fused with Janemba and the Dragon Balls? Or will this be even easier than UI Goku vs Moro for the new fusion? Luckily for us, there is no wrong answer here and that's really what the author seems to want and I like that a lot. Once again, if you did enjoy the short story, the link to the original shots of Dragon Ball Final War will be down below in the description box. Also, if you haven't already at this point in the video, consider leaving a like as well as it really does help out a ton. The new chapter of Dragon Ball Super is right around the corner, so if you guys don't want to miss any action from Goku and Vegeta, be sure to have those notifications turned on to catch the latest uploads as soon as they go live. Be sure to follow on both Twitch and Twitter to stay up with me and all anime related content and updates guys. But anyways, have a great great day, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.